Welcome to my booktube. <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome to or back to my channel. Today I'm going over my April TBR. So most of the books on my TBR for this month are sequels, but I do have some beginnings to more series that I'm going to be adding on. I think I need to do some videos and like series that I'm in the middle of as well because I have started way too many this just this year alone. But anyway, let's dive right into the books that I have for April. So the first one is no surprise at all. I did say that I was going to be sh pushing it along from March into this month instead because it didn't quite meet enough of the prompts that I needed for the ACMC readathon that other books were already covering. Um, so that is The Hero of Ages, which is the third book in the Mistborn trilogy by Brandon Sanderson. I am so excited to finally pick this one up, but also, as most of you know, I've also been really nervous for some reason to get to this book. I don't know why I'm so nervous in particular about this one, but that's where we're at. The next book I have is Baptism of Fire, which is the third book in the Witcher series by Andrew Sapkowski. I, like a lot of people, got into The Witcher through the video game first, and then I also did watch the series before picking up the books, so sorry for anyone who read the books first. Not me! Uh, but I am having a great time getting to know Geralt and Yennefer more, and learning the original story, and... <laughs> Uh, seeing Siri as a kid, she's so fun. She's really funny. She really has got a lot of oomph to her. And I just, I actually enjoy her. Normally children I find to be excruciatingly boring in fantasy because I just, no thanks. But I actually enjoy following her, but Geralt and Yennefer especially. I love them together, I love their chapters apart, and I've really been enjoying this series so far. I'm enjoying the experience of reading them, but they're certainly not like an all-time favorite. I'd say the next series I like more than The Witcher, which is The Stormlight Archive by Brandon Sanderson. I'm also reading this series. This one is the second one. It's Words of Radiance. I cannot wait to pick this up. I've been waiting a month since I finished The Way of Kings to finally read this one because it was way too big to throw on a TBR for a readathon. <laughs> so I had to wait until April and oh my god, you guys. You guys. I'm dying to know what happens next. We left off with some great moments. We left off with some cliffhangers. There's just... There's so much to continue with and there's gonna be so many books and there's so much to happen in this book and I just... I can't wait. Speaking of books I'm also dying to get to, so I'm filming this on March 28th and yesterday I just finished The Dragon Republic, so I'm dying to get to The Burning God by R.F. Kuang, the third in the Poppy War trilogy, and oh my god, oh my god, that book was so good. I enjoyed the whole thing. I cannot wait to find out how this series concludes. So much happened in that second book, so I like... I'm at a loss for words, but this will probably be one of the earlier books I pick up next month too because I, I'm just dying to get to it. The next book I'm picking up is from one of Vish's buddy reads, and so Vish, her channel is Books with V. I'll have it linked down below. She, her channel is amazing, and she has buddy reads that she picks every month that she hosts on her Discord, which is open to anyone, and the book that she's picked for the month of April is City of Brass by S.A. Shockerboardy, and... I have had this book on my shelf for a year. I was really excited by the premise when I bought it, and I don't remember what it's about anymore, but I know that I was stoked. I'm kind of leaving it as a mystery for myself. I didn't read the back before filming this, so I'm a little unprepared, but I also don't talk about books before I read them anyway. I honestly don't even remember what people were saying about it. I just know that I was excited and I, I bought it because I really wanted to read it, as many of us do. I feel like buying books and reading them are two separate hobbies. But anyway, I'm very excited to be buddy reading this with everyone over on her Discord because they're so kind and so welcoming and it's just such a wonderful place to be. And most of the books that I pick up as like buddy reads are actually like other people's buddy reads and they are doing live shows that I want to see. But this one I'm actually buddy reading with other people, which is so fun and I think that's something that... I would like to do more. <laughs> I'm going to be <laughs> reading Kingdom of Souls by Rena Barron, and I'm picking this up because Elliot Brooks and Jesse May are doing a buddy read together and then potentially doing a live show about this one, and so I wanted to read it for that. That's it. It does look really cool. I'm very intrigued by this book, but <laughs> that's why I picked it up. Another book that I bought 
about a year ago and have had on my shelves for a really long time that I've been hoping to pick up one day has been Priory of the Orange Tree by Samantha Shannon. I've really wanted to read this book for a long time and I just haven't. I think it's mostly because it's been another large book that I've been nervous to pick up and I participated in a lot of readathons last year so this month there are no readathons but big books. I don't know why I've done this to myself but I think it's time that I pick this up. I've heard I've heard mixed reviews on this one. Some people think that it's pretty slow and other people think that it's fantastic. I don't mind slow so I'm hoping that it's gonna be something that I'm really going to enjoy. I've also heard that it's a world led by women and I love that in my stories and there's dragons so can we go wrong with that? I don't think so. So yes this is my another large TBR that I have going on. And all of these books are adult fantasy except for one YA book. So I, one thing that I've learned for myself is I need to have a mix of both otherwise I'll likely have a reading slump because if I have too much of either age range it's just too much for me apparently. So I do have some young adult books that I might potentially pick up in April but for any of the YA books that I do choose to read are mostly going to be like on a mood reading basis. So I may pick these up, I may choose something else, but I am eager to get to these ones. The first one is The Night of the Fox by Julie Kagawa. This is the third book in the Shadow of the Fox trilogy and I finished the second book sometime last year. So I've been dying to get to this one for a while. I'm hoping if I have enough time in March I might finish it too but I still have like two and a half books to read so it's unlikely <laughs> so that's why I'm expecting that I'll end up carrying this over into April because I just really want to know how this concludes. I love the two main characters in here. They're just fantastic. Especially Yumeko. She is so cute so I can't wait to pick this one up but that's a potential read for me. I also really enjoyed Bonecrier's Moon, which I read last year, so I picked up Bonecrier's Dawn. I'm really hoping to get to this one. The first book was so fun. It was very up my alley for something <laughs> that I like to read. The magic was really cool. It was partially animal related. I, Even though the romance in it was like super fast, I still had a lot of fun with it, and I really want to know where this one continues because the end of that other one, um, I have been waiting for this one to come out, and this just came out couple days ago, I think. So yeah, I'm dying to get to this one too. So this next one is another YA sequel that I'm also hoping to get to this month, which is Children of Virtue and Vengeance by Tomi Adeyemi. I just read Children of Smoke and Bone last month and I loved it so much. So I really want to pick this one up shortly too, but we'll see how the month goes. We'll see what I end up feeling like reading. So yeah, overall, these are the books that I'm really hoping to get to, and these three are my potential reads for this month. Fingers crossed I can get to them all, because I did have a phenomenal reading month so far in March. I think I've read about 14 books by this point, so I'm so excited for how many I might finish in the next couple days, because I don't really have anything else planned. Hey friends, editing me here. It is April 2nd, so March is already done. And I've made some small adjustments to my TBR, and by small adjustments I mean I've added some more to it. Uh, so I am going to be reading the first Harry Potter book, but in French. I've been trying to work on my French reading skills for a while, so I wanted to stick with a book that I'm very familiar with. So that is what I will be reading in French this month. And then since I didn't get to read Volume 4 of the Rat Queens last month, and I really want to, I'm hoping to pick that up this month too for one of my quick reads to help get me through all of those large adult books that I have this month. And I was also watching, um, what was it, the Ruby's Digest channel, and they're doing a read-along for The Cruel Prince. And I read this last year and I really enjoyed it and I wanted to read it again and I was like, why not join this as an opportunity to read it again and talk about it with other people. So those are <laughs> three books that I'm adding on to this month, but... Yes, I'm hoping to have a great month. <laughs> I know I'm crazy. This is, I'm probably not going to be able to get to them all. And I didn't finish The Starless Sea in March, so I'm carrying it over to April as well. Um, so yeah, lots of books. But sneak peek, when you tune in to my March wrap-up, which I'm hopefully going to film tomorrow, I did finish 20 books, so... 
I believe I can finish a lot of these in April. I'm very excited. I hope to talk more about these books in depth, obviously, once I've read them and I have a lot to say about them. I don't like giving synopsis of books before I've read them because I don't want to tell you the wrong thing. <laughs> That's everything. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate each and every single one of you guys. If you have read any of these books or if you are interested in picking up any of these books, please let me know your thoughts down in the comments. I would love to hear them. But that's everything for today, so thank you and have a great rest of your day. Bye!